Hello students, welcome to Anupsar's Education Lab. In this video today, we will understand subject, predicate and object in a sentence of English grammar. So, without further delay, let us jump to the topic. Let us try to understand the subject first. So students, what is a subject? Somebody or something that does the work or has a state in a sentence is said to be the subject of that sentence. Now, let us have a look at few examples. Rina is waiting for you. This sentence tells us what Rina is doing. She is doing the action of waiting. So, here, Rina becomes the subject because she is doing an action. Tina is a good girl. This sentence tells us what Tina is. She is a good girl. So, here, Tina becomes the subject because it tells us her state. Sometimes, subject comes after the verb, especially in the poems. Let us see a few examples. Climbed up the filthy boy. Here, the filthy boy is the subject of the sentence because he is doing an action. In this sentence, subject comes after the verb climbed. Jumped down the cat into the well. Here, the cat is the subject of the sentence as it is doing the action. In this sentence too, the subject comes after the verb jumped. Now, let us try to understand predicate. Students, what is a predicate? A predicate is the part of the sentence that tells us something about the subject. That means it describes the subject. Note, each predicate must have a finite verb. Let us see a few examples. She walks in the garden. Here, walks in the garden is the predicate because this part of the sentence tells us more about the subject, she. And walks is the finite verb in this predicate. I can live without food till 2 o'clock. Here, can live without food till 2 o'clock is the predicate because it describes the subject I and live is the finite verb in this predicate. Now let us try to understand the object. Students, what is an object? Object of a sentence is something that receives the effect of an action in that sentence. That means, when a subject does an action, an object receives the effect of that action. Let us see a few examples. Rohit killed a tiger. Here, tiger is an object as the tiger receives the effect of the action performed by Rohit. So, here, when Rohit does an action of killing, the tiger which was once alive dies. Death is the effect on the tiger. Rohan kicked the ball. Here, ball is the object as the ball receives the effect of the action performed by Rohan. So, here, when Rohan does an action of a kick, the ball which was stationary once rolls. Rolling is the effect on the ball. Now, there are two types of objects. They are direct object and indirect object. A direct object is the receiver of the action within a sentence. Let us see an example. He drank the milk. Here, milk is the direct object. But be careful to distinguish between a direct object 
and an object complement. Let us take an example of object complement. They named their daughter Natasha. In this sentence, daughter is the direct object and Natasha is the object complement, which describes the direct object. The indirect object identifies to or for whom or what the action of the verb is performed. Let us see an example. Arun sold me his boat. Here, me is indirect object, whereas his boat is direct object. Let us now try to understand complement. What is a complement? A complement is one or more elements required by the subject or verb to complete the meaning of the sentence. It may be a direct object. Example, he gave a gift. It may be an indirect object. Example, he gave me a gift. Or, a predicative complement. He is good. So, it is the end of this video. This is Anupsar saying thanks and goodbye.